Hey y'all, I'm coming today with a real, real quick product rave. It's a product that I have tried out for a little bit. I've had my eye on it for a real long time and I decided just to buy it. You know, I was like, if I don't like it, I'll take it back. So what it is, is the Tarte Smooth Operator Micronized Clay Finishing Powder with PM. That is a long name. But yeah, so we're just going to go with Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. And what it is, it's like a setting powder. It reminds me of like MAC Prep and Palm, Favor, not Forever 21, Makeup Forever, um, HD, like those type of setting powders. And it's white, you know, but it's translucent. But you still, you know, with translucent powders, as darker skinned women still have to be careful with. Um, swatched on the skin, it has... A slightly ashy cast but when you put it on with a powder brush I hadn't tried it with a powder puff but with a brush you know you don't really get any cast at all now to the huge rave about it I'm an oily girl so you know trying to control the oily situation is sometimes a little difficult and that was why I was curious about this you know I've tried the other ones and they look good for a little time but this one um this is the end of the day is like 10 o'clock at night and I have not blotted one time today not one maybe I'm having a good none oily skin day but the other times I've tried it you know no problems with it all breaking through like I still have a certain you know it's not overly mad I don't know if you can really see like let me see what kind of look like you see it has like a little sheen to it to where I'm not still looking like I just put it on but the powder you know is nothing like I usually it don't look like I could put some you know eggs and fry them on my face or something and today I'm using it with the um cream foundation by Scott Barnes I've had this one for a real long time I just hadn't really and this one is in the color topaz and just a swatch so you can see what that color looks like but it blends in pretty good you know yeah you can barely tell where is that I guess that's a good thing with foundation but I'm wearing these two today and this is set with a cream, you know, it's setting a cream foundation, which are even oilier than regular ones. And it's been a thumbs up. It's about 26 20, It's not $30, but it's over 20 So it's somewhere within that range. So it's not cheap by any means. At least I don't think it is. And you get how much? like nine grams so that's a good bit and for how much you're gonna use you know I guess it really is your money worth now it only has like unlike it's a real light like that's one thing is more airy than like other powder foundations that I've used the one that I thought was the lightest was my um La Mirror brush I wanted to just kind of show what it looked like like on top of foundation so you can see that it doesn't really leave that white cast so if you have problems with oil breakthrough or something like that this stuff is definitely worth the try you know like I said Sephora and Ulta they both do take backs like if you decide that you don't like it but I've been, it's kept my makeup at a very nice finish, finish, finish. I don't know about all the claims that it do with pore reduction and anti-aging or make you look like Beyonce, whatever it say up in here. Yeah, pore size. I don't know about all that, so I'm not saying this stuff can reduce your pores. But what it has done compared to other powders that it has kept me more matte and it hasn't caked up on me as much as other powder as well so it's just quick little rave just a little bit just thought i'd come share that with y'all real quick so if you have any questions let me know i'll put the product 
it's in the info box. So if you can't understand what I said, you know, you can read it if you want to look it up. So that is it. And I will see y'all later. Okay. Bye.